Hello! Oh, please tell me if this is working. Somebody tell me if this is working. I don't know. Um, hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Um, until I see something in the comments, somebody saying that this is live, I'm just going to rhyme off my favourite recipe for pancakes. Uh, it's working! Thank God. <laughs> But I'm sorry, a lot of you probably wanted to know what my favourite recipe for pancakes was. Um, right, I'm back from holidays. Um, as you can probably tell how from this gorgeous tan that I have. Um, oh, this is so weird. I have to be grown up and responsible for what I say now. I can't just talk shite and, and edit it out like I normally do. So. Please go easy on me. Before we start, uh, I can see comments in the corner here. I can see comments. And and to everybody that's actually already joined in, thank you for joining in. <laughs> and um, I'll, what was it, Dean, see, I, I spoke to Dean. This is Dean's fault. He said, yeah, go for it, do it. And he gave me some hints and tips about um, saying hello to everybody. Uh, so I'm saying hello to everybody that's here, and I've it, it gave me other hints and tips which I instantly ignored, like preparing notes and and things like that. Nothing. I haven't got a thing for you. <laughs> Just winging it, totally winging it. But before I get into this, because I'll go off on a tangent again. Um, who was it? John. John. Uh, is it Mueller? Mueller. Anyone? Mueller. Um, sorry, you probably get that a lot. Uh, just checked in my old box of tricks here and look what I found. Look at the state of that. This has been lying in um, this for for I don't know how long. Uh, so I've got uh, spare magnets um, and everything there, mate. So you can have this. It's, it's an old 18350 fortune, uh, but I know you were just looking for the the hybrid and magnets, but it's all there. You can just give me a shout on Facebook once all this is done, and um, I'll I'll fire it on to you. Um, there we go. Giving away free shit already. Uh, that's there's there's a, a new one. Um, now that a TTT says Craig. Uh, yeah, it's a, a fortune fortune mod from. Um, what was his name again? The guy that you, Tim. Was it Tim that used to do the fortune mods? Uh, yeah, that's one. Uh, right. Let's try doing this normally. Let's do this like I was recording a vlog. I can do this. I can do this. Um, right. Back from holiday, I was away in Portugal for a week. I went to a place called Cabanas. Uh, is it Cabanas? Cabanas. It's just along the road from Tavira which is just along the road from Faro. Um, been there a few times before and uh, always really enjoyed it. Um, so I think that was our fourth or fifth time. Uh, nothing remarkable happened uh, other than um, I got a tan. I went swimming in the sea. I drank lots of super bock, uh, lots of coffee and lots of stuff called brandy mel. Uh, those of you that have been to Portugal will know all about it. It's a liqueur. It's gorgeous. Um, other than that, not much happened there. Uh, I did get to meet uh, Gus. Big Gus. Um, most, well, a lot of the guys that watch my channel, Ivy Loam Show, Safer Vapors, all that kind of stuff, um, will know Gustav. Um, so I got to meet him, his lovely missus and his lovely dog. Uh, we got to catch up for a couple of hours and have a blether, and um, and and he didn't hit me once or tried to kill me, which I was worried about. But super nice guy, super nice guy. Um, he's nothing like his internet persona. <laughs> I'm saying nothing again because if I say anything out of order, next time I go back, he might kill me when we go back. Anyway. Um, what else happened? Woke up. Uh, the, the last night we were there, we stayed in this posh hotel in uh, Faro, and um, it was great. But I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. I was going to say midges, um, not midges. The, the the 
Portuguese equivalent of a midget. What's that? Um, mosquito. My legs look like <laughs> they look like I've been used for target practice on a paintball range. You know, you ever seen a bruise from a paintball pellet? That's what my legs look like. It's, it's not a pretty sight. Um, and it, I, I'm just absolutely covered in mosquito bites. Um, so since I got back, all I've been doing is been putting, well, I haven't been putting, well, toothpaste for starters. Uh, toothpaste is brilliant for mosquito bites. So just wanted to point out that this is vaping related sometimes, not all the times, but it is. Uh, toothpaste, great for mosquito bites. Uh, but Jesus, they hurt, really hurt. <laughs> but that's that's enough of that, right? Um, I I will get to chat. God, that's that is so distracting. Not Colgate. I did use Colgate. Actually, I read that and uh, Daily Walker saying not Colgate. There's, you have to use just normal toothpaste, not anything fancy. The fancy ones, for some reason, I don't know why. And. <laughs> Toothpaste is also good for love bites. That's a very, very good point. Vomit sausage. Vo what kind of username is that? But actually, I don't want to know how you came up with that username. Um, right. When I got back, uh, no, actually, whilst I was away, the whole time I was there, all I had, if you watched last week's vlog, all I actually had uh, with me, two of these. Uh, the Inican. MV, M, not MPV, MV, fuck it, um, MVP4. These with a Scion tank on top. So I took two of them with me and I took 100 mils of this one, uh, custard. Mm -hmm. I went through 60 mils of juice. So I was vaping 50 watts. And uh, do you know, this thing is absolutely covered in sunscreen. It's got sand in the coil. I kid you not, it's got sand in the coils, sand in all the USB ports and whatnot, but it never let me down, um, which was quite good because I have given Inakin a bit of a a rough time of late. It's not changed my opinion on the mod. I still think the 510's crap and all that, but it was good. It was very good. And so that got me through the entire week. Um, I'll. It actually brings me back. Uh, brings me back to something, and I, hey, Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I shall, I shall, I shall buy more toothpaste with that for my legs. I shall show you my legs just for that. Thank you. Anyway. People are probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about, but I'll move on. Um, Inican T20, Castell, uh, that thing there, Bada boom. Um, that's Castello, how down, Castello West. Castello West, that's, oh, you're the guy that gave me shit about uh, mouth to lung. Oh, no, advocacy. You really gave me shit about advocacy. Um, that's, yeah, just didn't expect to see you here. Hello. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> shouldn't. Uh, right, swiftly moving on. Don't don't forget vape drama. It's good for the soul. Um, right. When I got back, uh, there was some gear sitting here waiting for me, um, and I'm really I'm really struggling here. <laughs> I need um, somebody to look after this chat thing or just ignore it for a little bit and, and try and get through the vlog. I don't know how these guys do this, but I'll, do, do, do you mind if I ignore the chat just for a wee bit, please? And I'll just, here we go. Right, first thing that was waiting for me when I got back uh, was this. Now, uh, you know, everybody in the dog, every reviewer, I think on the planet got one of these. And it's called the Revenger. I love it when they're writing things on the mods because that, that makes it so easy for me to remember. Uh, I wish they'd written the name of the tank on the, what's the tank called? The Revenger kit by Vaporesso. 
Um, it's the no, no, no. It's a Revenger mod with an NRG energy tank. Uh, right. So some folk have put reviews out for this already, um, even though they've only had it for two hours. But um, it's all right. It's I mean it's a dual eighteen six fifty. Point. It's quite strange because see that panel in the back, that there. When I first got it, I thought that's the bit that would come off to put the batteries in, but it's not. It's the. Is it even? Uh, I think you're supposed to take it off when the tank's off, but the whole thing comes off like that. Boink. Um, so with Julie 18650, it does a gazillion watts. It'll power your house for 24 hours, and you can vape with it. I'm on 54 watts on the. 0 0.15 ohm coil. I don't know if it's the um, how's your father? Um, um, paper so ceramic ceramic coils. You know how they used to always do ceramic coils. I don't know if it's a ceramic coil in this. Clouds, bro. Um, no, that's my first tank through it. Uh, that, that's as much juice as I've gone through on this thing. And uh, the flavour takes a little bit to get going. Well, actually, the flavour's not there at all yet. It's actually pretty shit so far. Um, it's got the old smock, um, opens how... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no, uh, how do I open... Oh, there we go. Spin the top. Remember like the old uh, smock thing at the top? That's how you fill it. No idea in the capacity, and um, yes, I'm having fun with it so far in the two, three hours that I've been reviewing it. Um, actually, I was going <laughs> to... Right, I'm going to get my shovel out, and I'm going to start digging a hole for myself. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to have a drink from my cup, because that's what every good reviewer does, don't you know? Uh, right. When I was coming back from uh, Portugal, um, and thank you to all the people over there that got in touch and offered to buy me more booze, uh, more beer, and to go along to vape shops and things like that. And I'm sorry if I at any time appeared a bit standoffish or rude um, and by saying no, uh, but. It, it, I was there on holiday with Karen, so it, it wasn't a, a vaping holiday as such. It was, you know, it was it was me time and our time. So, but I think we're going back in October. I will make a point of taking a day out, and I'll I'll go and visit some folk and go to some vape shops and things like that. Um, because I'd like to, but uh, this time it was about me. It was about me and the missus. Anyway, um. I need somebody to remind me what I'm talking about. Yes, flying back, flying back. And uh, I was on about this and um, uh, something was bugging me coming back, which kind of ties in with this as well. And you know, I had a little dig about other people have already got reviews up and I know they were only made available about five or six days ago to, to everybody. Right, uh, where am I going with this? Right, my point is, when I do a review, I review something when I'm comfortable with it. Um, that's when I get to the point when I do my review. Now, you'll hear lots of reviewers saying that you should wait X amount of time. You should wait. I mean, I've talked about it in the past. You should wait so long before you do a review. My kind of version of that is that I wait until I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm comfortable with it. I can talk about it without totally screwing it up. Um, but with this um using this for a week and nothing else it kind of i wish i could do that I, I really wish i could do that then most reviewers that i know and talk to and whatnot we have review cues you know we have shit coming in all the time uh, so there's a, a bit of pressure on you to get reviews out in a certain amount of time to get on to the next thing but actually spending a solid week with a mod and a tank and not 
touching anything else. I got to know this mod better in that week than I ever did before I reviewed it, which is wrong, kind of, or I feel kind of shit about it. I don't feel bad about all the reviews I've done because, as I said, I do them at the point I feel comfortable. But, and there's always that pressure, but I don't think that me speaking for myself, not any other reviewer, I probably do not spend the time on a mod and an atty that I should do. Um, but I don't see how I can only vape or use that one item for a week only or two weeks only. You just can't because you've got that much gear going on. Um, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. And at moments like this, uh, going in what other reviewers say, I should say, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. But I'm absolutely terrified to to, to say it. <laughs> just, uh, Mr. Dean, the vaping bike, has just pointed out that this would have been easier with notes. I've never done... I did, I did notes for... Two vlogs, I think, did notes for. I've been doing these vlogs for four years uh, now. I mean, that's nearly, on average, yeah, that's nearly every week for four years, give or take here and there. Um, don't need notes. I'm the consummate professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. And not a clue. Not a clue. Uh, right, I, let's. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll I'll scroll back up the the comments a wee bit. I'm going to have a little quick quick look through it. Tim Peacock. That was it. Fortune mods. Thank you, Craig. So I'll have a quick scan through this, and I'll say hi to everybody. Uh, oh, there's even Americans here, and there's Germans here as well. And Riyadh is pointing out that I made babies with Gustav. I didn't actually. Um, because his missus was there. Melissa and uh, is it Dexter, his dog. His dog's gorgeous. Uh, his, his wife's really nice as well, I uh, realise. Um, and who else have we got here? Neil Thomas, O.R. Church, Kev, Mr. B. Uh, Great Vapes UK is asking, where's TJ? TJ's in the house just now uh, because I've got enough going on. And besides, honestly, I'm, I'm here in a pair of shorts because my legs are in agony and he just scratches the shit out of my legs. So. Just now he's out. Um, da, 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 Lynn Corpus, um, <laughs> Mick. Uh, don't use Veet on your nuts either. It stings even more. What's Veet? Oh, v ah, got you. I'm with you. Uh, Rick, yes, thank you. Vacation went well. Um, Tina wants to see the legs. <laughs> No, you don't. Um, Florence, um, Todd, did you test Alt B2 BA from Boost Lab for a box and the Soul S for dripper, please? Now, the Soul S dripper review is it's already up. It's it's been up. Um, Soul S is here. Here. Yeah. Oh, here it is. There's my soul. <laughs> well, it might as well be a little black thing. That's my soul. Um, so I've done the, I've done the review for that. Um, yes, I think it's awesome. I can. What was it? Uh, Angsty said it's. It, it can be a bit of a rape whistle sometimes. You have to position your coil just perfectly, or it can whistle loudly. As far as the Alt B two B F the squonky mod, never got it. Never got it, which is, it's, uh, yeah. Um, Steve Gibbs, uh, Todd, the Titan box got slashed in price, but are they any good? Not a clue. Um, no, honestly, I haven't a clue. Um, I think I, no, I never used one, I don't think. No, it's Dean, Dean, you got a yellow one. I think I used that once, I got a shot of it. But don't know, that's the thing. Um, sorry, grumpy old person. Um, I, I can only give you an opinion on stuff I've actually used. And if I've used it, there's a review for it. And otherwise, there's a review coming if it's sitting here in front of me. So I'm sorry. I, I know people say, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? But unless I've actually used it, 
hey ho. Um, uh, uh, oh, just a point out to you. Um, I will finish this before the ideal home show starts because, um, yeah, I'm just a warm up act. You know, they, they, they just gave me a fiver. Here you go, and said, uh, "Can you just try and get everybody, you know, in front of their computers before the show starts, because they need the subscribers. They do. I'm sorry. Um, and Mr. Gary Dibley's on the show tonight, I do believe. Um, so Kevin uh, bought the Frost Box mod after watching your review, uh, and he bought the series box as well. Was it the series one I had? I can't remember, or was it the parallel? I think it was the parallel. Um, yeah, it's, it's made really well, but yes, it's a uh, Hammond at the end of the day, but it, it is made really well. Um, I really I hope they come out with something new, new soon. Um, I know they've been talking about it for so long, but we just wish they would. Um, uh, Vape Heritage, hello from France. Hello, France. Bonjour. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. No, no, I know more. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten it. I've forgotten it. No. Jambon and fromage baguette, Seville si play. That, that's my French. That's all I know. I'm actually going there in September. Uh, I think I've, I've told you before for the, the Vip Expo. There'll be an expo in September. So I'll be back over in Paris. Um, uh, da, 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 just like just toy, toy. I'm not showing legs. No, it's not happening. Uh, uh, Tina, that's the big boys from Germany. Right, I'll, I'll scroll right down to the bottom and. Oh, there's Keith from Canada. Love the Canadians. Love the Canadians. Uh, oh, there's two people from Canada. Um, because. I married a Canadian, so what can I say? Uh, bloody hell, and the Netherlands, and and holy shit! Right, I need to stop reading this. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, because I think people, yeah, obviously, if people watch this after the event, they can't see what I was referring to. Right, Vaporesso, we got that out of the way. Um, oh, arrived when I was away. Um, this this I ordered this to take on holiday with me, but it, the guys sent it on time, but it just didn't make it to me in time. Uh, I, I left it too late to order. Uh, from just add Nick, um, the grumpy custard, the coconut, coconut custard. That's what it is. Um, and um, um, following the instructions that I was given from just add Nick, I, I'm going to steep it for a while before I vape it. Uh, so thank you to John for pointing out that this needs steeped before I vape it. Um, right, stuff, stuff, did anything else, that, actually I think that's all, oh no, this arrived. Um, <laughs> it's not as big, I know uh, Beans popped up a first look at it. Um, <laughs> it's fucking, uh, do you know what? I get it. I, I, I get. I mean, I mean, you know, there's people. I think. Um, no, I think Dean's the only one I've seen with a video. I've not looked at anybody else. I mean, Richard might have done, but um, yeah, the Coilmaster UFO. Um, I don't have any fancy animation to make it go like that. Uh, but um, that was really cool when he did that. As Dean said, the, the biggest flaw that, I, that I, I totally agree is the the LED readout here is shockingly bad, shockingly dim, uh, but I like everything else about it. Um, I, I don't have an issue with anything else on it other than the display. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I know Dean mentioned about, you know, if, you're, if you've got juice in your coil and you have to push that to fire it, um, that doesn't bug me, that doesn't bug me. But, uh, yeah, each to their own at the end of the day. But yeah, Julie 18650, you can fire it down really low, but I don't know. I mean, I really liked my, my little 521 mini tab. Um, and 
play. Right, I'll tell you what, um, because I did, I didn't know this was. I, I didn't know I'd switch this on. I don't know how I switched it on or whatnot. But um, anybody that has sent money um, on, however you're doing it, um, I'll I'll donate it towards Dean's charity raffle that he's doing for uh, the dog. Uh, Buster, is it Buster? I think it is. So any any penny that comes to me tonight through this, I'll send it straight on to Dean's Just Given thing. But thank you very very much. Uh, thank you, Ken. I'm actually I am actually embarrassed and going red underneath all this. Anyway, um, still you know I still like the little fact. This takes up too much real estate for me. Uh, it's just yeah i just like this i always have i know that the way i build and coil and all the rest of it you know this if you're into your super low low this might be better but i don't know uh, i'm just an old fart um put that away put that back in the box and um i i may get round to showing it off one day but there we go chuck that back in the box uh, we've done that we've done that we've done that Here's things for you. Um, I need more coffee. I'm just going to catch up on some chat while I drink coffee. Uh, baby, baby, baby. Hello, Shaman Jim. <laughs> oh, there's Miriam with the hat. I can't. Everybody knows Miriam with the hat. Um, I can never get used to the um, MM Vapors. I can never get used to using your proper surname because I always remember you as Miriam with the hat. Um, anyway, right. Um, here's the thing for you. I have seen, I have, now this is the, um, those of you that you, I did a review for this, I showed this off. This is the, the Vixet BF um, Squonker. This, what about it all? Here. Uh, and I absolutely adore it. Um, now, on top of here, now I, I've mentioned this already, that, that's a signature tips drip tip. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called, but Haku, oh Jesus Christ, Haku. Um, now I've seen people putting up videos for this already, Russ. Um, Russ, the wonderful, excitable Russ. It, it, it makes me look even more boring than I really am. Um, I never, now, Stephen, the guy that's behind this, um, I, I mean, his father in law, I, great guys, really nice guys, very passionate. Now, I never did a review of this as such because it's a pre production atty and and it's going to change. It's changing a lot. Well, not a, yeah, but it's quite, yes, it's changing a lot. Um, and I should be getting the updated production versions early next week. Um, I, I just not happy with doing a video on something that's going to totally change. Um, there's going to be two versions, if I remember right. So if you are interested in the Haku, uh, the Haku H A. K U R D A on Facebook. Um, it's quite smart. Uh, now, I've ended up putting a, how does this work? I put a chunkier coil in that and I filled it out with cotton, uh, mainly just because it's too big inside. It's going to do two versions. One of them is going to remain with an, an open deck so that you, cloudy people out there, can blow your clouds um, and he's also doing one with a, a reduced chamber for you know more senior vapors like myself that appreciate the finer things in life like a smooth relaxed vape in front of the fire with their dog um no so there'll be one like a flavor chaser one and a cloudy one um i just even with this with a chunky coil in it and opened up i'm just not it's not for me it's as simple as that i 
I just don't get the thought. I'm, I got picked up on this. Um, I, I mean, I I get a lot of comments on my YouTube channels from people, and I just delete them. I don't get involved. I uh, just delete them. Um, you know, if you haven't got something constructive to say, then screw you. You're gone. Um, <laughs> this guy was really having a go at me about not putting the proper build in an attic. And, and I, yeah, I, I kind of get that. I kind of get that. You know, with a, a cloudy, like the, they need a certain build. Um, I, I do get that. But I've tried uh, a certain build in this thing. And for me, whilst it does produce the vapor and so on, I, I just need my flavor. That, to me, is what vaping is about. I, I want that taste. Uh, it has to have that. So should be here beginning of next week, uh, the two updated versions, and uh, I will show them off. Uh, right. Oh, oh T-shirt. Do you like this? Product placement. There's no sponsorship in my channel. No, there's none. You won't see me showing off products shamelessly and plugging companies you know nothing like that goes on at all um however um i did get this free um sorry that was a shameless plug for vape droid there um, for those of you that do it here we go oh there's the missus how awesome is that uh right two seconds there's going to be a cup of tea. Thank you very much, Mr. Tullard. Oh, you dumped the dog on me. Can't believe. <sighs> Just dumped the dog on me. Sorry, TJ. What are you dumping me? Hello. Have you got a hobby? You got a hobby? Um, yeah. Uh, that's not my joints are creaking. That's the <laughs> chair. Um, right, let's, um, <laughs> that was the Haku, I really like the Haku, I like the guys that are doing it, it's just this one right now, the pre-production one, I don't think it's that great, but I have very, very high hopes for the updated version that's coming next week, I think that's where I was, that's where I got to, um, the, that, that t-shirt was sent on to me by, <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, shite, 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 um, vapor, vapor cloud, vapor cloud, was it vapor cloud, no, vapor, um, vapor, ah, oh, somebody help, vapor, it's written, it's written on it, isn't it, it is, vapor cloud, vapor dot cloud, no, that's not how you spell vapor.cloud. No. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. I'll put a link in the description. I'm so sorry. Uh, or have a look at my Facebook page because it, it was on there as well. Actually, um, I'll go and I've got my own Facebook open here. Uh, da, 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 da. Talk amongst yourselves. I know that I should be paying attention, but... I've got to get this out of my system now. If I don't find this, then I might have to send the T-shirt back, you know. Um, <sighs> Vapeculture.cloud. That's where I got it from. And they're doing 70% uh, off. Here end of the plug. Um, right. What's next? Right, let's, let's, let's uh, go haku. Um... Do you know the first thing I started vaping with when I got back? Couldn't resist it. I really couldn't resist it. This, when you look at the gear I have here, now, I get a lot of questions. People ask me to recommend stuff and things like that. Um, and it, it's hard because I'm quirky. I like certain things. Um, but I also sometimes get stuff that is just, just so outside my comfort zone. I just love it. And this thing, I just, I know I keep going on about it, but I cannot get enough of this bit of gear. Uh, the phalanx, is it phalanx, uh, Shally MFG, and my Gillette V2. This is 0 0.18 dual coil. Yeah. 
you heard it here first. Uh, but I'm only vaping it at 50 watts. That's awesome. I, 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 I wouldn't go, I wouldn't have, never in my lifetime would I have picked this up and bought it. Never. Um, but it's fun. And, and that's kind of what vape I think some people forget that. I forget it sometimes. I mean, I still get silly excited about gear when it arrives after five years. It's just some stuff I get so worked up and excited about. Um, but whilst vaping, I mean, I'll pull my, my soap box out here. Hang on. There we go. Um, people get so worked up about, you know, all different aspects of vaping and whatnot and, you know, advocacy and TPD or whatever the feck they're calling it now. And and he said vape drama, she said this and all that. You know, um, just don't forget, vaping's fun. Look at, you know, here just now, there's, there's, there's people actually taking the piss out of me and having a laugh in a comment section here. Uh, on YouTube, the comments, once this goes live, live, um, people have a laugh. There's people donating money for for charity here, to, for a dog, you know, th for the thing that Dean's doing and all that. Vaping is fun. Don't get so up your own arse that you forget that. And a lot of people do. Yes, mostly Scottish people, but there we go. Next on the list, on the list, um, are you coming up? Come on now. Come on, get him. <laughs> right. Uh, next on the list. Oh, German. German, what, what are you doing? Do you mind? There's nothing quite like having a Spaniel's arse in your face to just round off your night. It's just, you just have to cut. <laughs> He's just after the coffee. <laughs> uh, right. Well, I'll go through some more comments. Maybe I should just go through some more comments. Right. Let's, let's, no, I'll, I'll get back to the comments. We're going to do the German thing. We're going to do the German thing. Right. People in uh, chat can keep me right. So uh, I have mentioned several times that I love these things. This is the the Michael Cope Coop Michael K O P P design. Um, I I was given this. This was a gift. I bought this one up here, and I went and bought one of his make mods as well. I am going to go and buy another one of his make mods because I rate them that highly. They're expensive. They're expensive. Uh, but they're very, very well made, and and I love these tanks and drippers with a passion. Um, they don't get me wrong; I love them because it's up my street, not because it's the latest, the greatest. It doesn't vape any miles better than anything else. It's not made better than some other stuff that I own, but just as a package, it all comes together, and and I love it. I absolutely love it. However, when I was over in Stuttgart. Not many people know that. Most people do. Um, I I bought this. So this is, uh, I've shown it off already. This is the Body Curve by Stutt Art. Um, company in Stuttgart, everything for this mod, design, built, assembled, everything is in Stuttgart. I had to send this back because I broke it. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> just, I over tightened an atty on the top and completely destroyed the 510. My fault, totally. Trying to put a competition uh, dripper onto a, a run of the mill mod with just. Um, so I had to send it back and the guys graciously fixed it for me. So huge shout out to them for that. Thank you so, so much. Uh, when they sent this back, they also included a present for me, um, which is this thing. Now, this is called the... <laughs> I don't 
do it, I can. Do you know, I, I, I remember when I was 30. I remembered everything back then. I really did. Uh, it's called the Dival. Dival. Uh, D, uh, that is the correct pronunci pronunciation. Uh, D-I-A-V-E-L. Dival. I actually looked that up earlier on to check. Um, so this is... It, this is the SX350 uh, V2 version, and that is horse leather going around there. So the same as this one, you know, the buttons, you can get customized the buttons, customize the, the surrounds for the buttons, get totally different colors and all that kind of jazz. And you can get different colored leather panels for it. It's just, this is, spot the fire button. Can you see the fire button anywhere? No fire button. Ah, I'm going to shut down Facebook because I think it's causing issues with my connection. And um, the fire buttons, it's actually underneath here. So you just push that. It's, it's oh, so awesome. I forget the guy's name. Um, there was there was a guy that got in contact with. Me. Well, I saw his photo on uh, Facebook, and. Um, it was this exact mod and this exact color scheme, the buttons and everything, and I fell in love with it. So when I saw the guys uh, here in Stuttgart, I was like blown away. I ended up getting this. I didn't have the money to buy this. I've now got it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I get free shit every once in a while. Deal with it. I have to do stuff like this. Uh, Um, yeah, Gizzard Saint and uh, Vaping Hermit, thank you. Um, horse leather, that, that's what the guy said. I don't know, You can. I never Googled it or anything, I never went for a look. Um, but it is horse, uh, sh shall I? I? Oh well, I've got horse leather. Is it such a, such a thing? Shop for horse, oh, I should have put on the filter for that one. Oops. Um, or maybe it, Horse leather, horse leather. Oh, there we go. Non shell cordon has been used to make shoes. Well, it's, it's a thing. Um, there we go. Is oh, shit. oh sorry, <laughs> midgy, midgy bites. Um, <laughs> and it shall not be known as the share gar mod from now on. Get it up, you Mr. Baker. Um, Excuse me while I see this is the thing. I'm having to put cream on my legs for these mosquito bites. I, I never thought I would be doing this during a vlog and, and telling people that. Um, anyway, um, I will be doing a video for all this gear at some point. Um, I will. Um, they shall all be called Bob, made by Bob, the Bob mod, so on and so forth. The thing is, and, and, and I've got to be, uh, I've said this in the past, and I'll, I'll be completely honest when I do the video for this gear, I'll do two separate videos. Um, it's, it's almost biased. It's not biased. There is bias in it because the stuff that I got for myself. So I already know that I love it. Um, it's just going to be a show and tell. It won't be a, a, a proper review. Have I ever done a proper, I don't know if I've ever done a proper review, but there we go. Right, um, move that to the side. I'll, I'll gather stuff to come, but I'll stop. Once again, thank you to everybody that is, is tuned in and is in chat just now and is watching this live and, and putting up with me. And thank you so, so much to everybody that's, that's tuned in here. Um, listen, how does this work? If you have, right, here we go. If you have a specific question for me, just do what Dean does during his vlogs, at Todd's Reviews. Um, start off at Todd's Reviews, type the question. Now, I'm not going to tell you what my favourite coil is, what my favourite build is, um, what, my fa what I would recommend for this, what I would recommend for that. 
Not going to happen. So don't ask. Don't ask. Uh, as far as coils go, if it glows red um, and vapors come off it, then cool. I'm happy. Um, so if you can do that, that would be bra. Good. Great. Bra. Um, and, 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 and there's my moderators keeping me right there. Thank you again, Mr. Vaping Biker. Um, is that a picture of Scott Ian above your screwdrivers? That's Rick. That's Mr. Modmaker. Modmaker.co.uk, in case you didn't know. Um, he's, he's, he's a dude. Um, so, uh, yes. If you, if you ever... I don't know if you might have heard of a show called the Ideal Home Show. He's a presenter on there with three other reprobates. Um, and he has a photo of me behind him. So I've had that photo of him there. I don't know how long now. Months, months. Um, right. Uh, let's let's fire into some questions here. Um, Vaping Biker. Todd Reviews. What's your favourite tank? This one. Um <laughs> soft, soft Tarno. If I can't pronounce your name, I'll call you Bob. Soft Tarno. What's your favourite food? Um, I love Italian food. Anything that I'm not supposed to be eating, I love. Look at the size of me. I'll eat anything. Uh, put it like that. Oh, Smiths and oh, get it right up you. Um. <laughs> Dave Smithson asks, uh, Lexus or Toyota? It would have to be Toyota for me. Thank you for the question, David. Um, Alan Stint, uh, what would be the best innovation in a mod? Um, fire button. Um, how am I getting on with my scrape, scrape dripper, uh, Ken? Um, I, I love my scrape dripper. I mean, it's... That's it there. I mean, it's used. It's got juice in the bottom. It gets used regularly, and it goes beautifully with this. Um, I it's fine for me. Um, actually, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to. I'm not going to mention that because I know that somebody else from for the way I vape and the type of coils I build. Um, I enjoy the scrape dripper you're probably better waiting for another man's review who vapes slightly differently to me to get a full on but not back what not a better overview two points of view if you like um but yeah i do like it um um oh it's christ almighty it's going too fast uh, uh, help help how, how do i pause this no here we go what's your favorite gary newman song scott savage uh down in the park um <laughs> gunner mark gunn uh wishing i had sent that recliner now i uh, see i've got this um god um uh, mr gunner i don't know how long i've been speaking to you for now mate um hell of a nice guy um <laughs> favorite cake um da da four different colors it's ah, it's gone totally gone battenberg there we go um <laughs> what are you asking me what kind of bike dean rides mr ashton i just happen to know that it's a shadow there we go um Glenn asks, have you any thoughts on the Dennis Bamboo Mech Squonker from Affordable Mods? I've not seen it, so I can't tell you. Uh, Giz, Gizzard Stew asks, do you enjoy haggis ever? I love haggis. Haggis with a good whiskey sauce, some uh, tatties and neeps, and um, pff, what's not to like, you know? It's, it's the food of champions. Um, have you tried abstract mods yet? I know you like your modders and his work is unreal. Um, 
excuse me, I just bring this up here, bring it up here, and there we go for abstract mods. I, I, I don't know the guy. I mean, I think, is, is that Mike? Seems like a nice guy. <laughs> I've seen nothing. Um, yes, I've seen his work and I got to play with some of his mods uh, when I was down at Expo because uh, John and Gary from the Ideal Home Show had their mods and they are, they're beautiful. There's no two ways about it and Mike's a hell of a nice guy. Um, so, next, um, who is your favourite reviewer after yourself? Doug asks. Um, Ah, oh, can't answer that. Can't answer that. That's that's um um. Everybody knows anyway. I don't have to say anything. Um, how am I getting on with the param? Why are you not drinking that tea, Steve? That's a bloody good call, mate. Why am I not drinking that tea? Uh, How long has this been going for? I don't know how long this has been going for. Oh, no way. That's 20 past eight. Holy shit. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> Eat my BB. Um, uh, another Scottish reviewer that's not an arsehole, he's a very nice man. Um, he's a very small man. He doesn't smile a lot. Uh, no, he's bro. Uh, Marcus. Marcus Tandy. Uh, Mark, I've not printed off a mod yet, mate. Um, the, my 3D printer here, boink, boink, boink. Um, a, a new auto-leveling sensor arrived for it uh, just before I went on holiday. So I've got to just tweak that, set that up, and then I'll be printing away again. Um, I have no interest. <sighs> Sorry. I, have, I honestly, hand on heart, I have no interest in printing a mod. That T went down the wrong way. Um, and it's just, I got the, three, I think I said, I, I got the 3D printer to, to fanny about with 3D printers. Um, I'm more interested in the updating the 3D printer itself printing off parts for it than what the 3D printer can actually like make a mod. I know that's kind of daft, but that's just, I like to tinker. I like to tinker. Um, how am I getting on with the paranormal uh, from Mark? Um, here, ever since I got the matchy panels, thank you to Rob at Steam Island on the Isle of Wight. Um, Still the same. I, I I know some people aren't. It's not for everybody, but I absolutely adore this. Uh, I really do like this mod a lot. Yeah, it kind of ticks ticks my boxes. Um, and when the three D cuff coming from Stephen Gavin? I don't get that. Uh, Dan Smith says, "Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone." Um, no. I've, I've scrolled too fast. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> I've scrolled too fast. Wait, where? Wait, ah, there we go. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, Colin Cummings, uh, will you be doing live reviews every week? No, not in your nearly after this. I am going for some medication and going to get and lie down. Um, uh, Jeremy Clarkson or James May? James May, because. He doesn't have to be an arsehole to be funny. And I like him for that. Um, right. Let's... Still hello to everybody that's watching. How did I even work out how how many people are watching this or, or shit or anything? I haven't a clue what I'm doing here. Um, Davy Reed, thank you very much. Um, your money will be going to... The, the charity thing that uh, Dean the Vaping Biker is running. Thank you very much for that. Um, do you still have use an Uber to, if not, boo? 
Um, I gave away one of my, my V1, no, my V2, I gave away in a charity auction uh, and I sold my V1. I think it was that way around uh, on the Uber 2. Uh, then Mark White, that stays up the road in Fife, he gave me a shot after several months since I'd last used an Uber 2 and I got to try one. And I, I didn't really get on with the draw. For some reason, uh, an Atty that I loved, I mean, I loved the Uber to it. I just, I just didn't take it again. And that was the end of that. Um, things changed. Uh, right. Bob, Bob Pilot, Peloso, Peloso, uh, or Dominic Peloso says, when is your mod and RDA coming out with your own juice line? Never. Never going to happen. Ever, 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 ever. Um and right, that's it. Um I need to move on to something else. I've got to stop with the questions, but thank you for the questions. I'll come back to them. Um oh my, it's so itchy, man. Hell. <laughs> Where's my cream? Yes, I just said on 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 YouTube live, where's my cream? Um I, I'm gonna get so much shit for this at one point in time, I'm just gonna get the piss taken out of me. Um, oh, I'll mention this just now. Um, I need to vape even. There we go. Get out your systems. Um, I mentioned this in the last vlog. Right. I don't have an issue with this mod. If you don't look at it, I don't have an issue with this mod. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I, as I said in my last vlog, I do enjoy the form factor. Uh, I like where the fire button is. And I, I like everything about it, to be perfectly honest, apart from the colour scheme. The only thing I didn't mention, or, or did I? I can't remember. But I've got to point this out because I feel, well, listen. You hear that? It's like, it just the fire button just doesn't it's just it's grindy there's something going on with that I'm, I'm just not a fan of it's the only thing aside from the color that spoils it for me that's the the rs avatar 250 by the way um it's a shame if the color was normal and, and the fire button didn't make that noise this would be a winner uh, i would really like that uh i can't remember if i said but uh H Cigar, uh, I know Mr. Bissardo did a review for this. Uh, I think he did a full Bissardo, so I've not watched it yet. Um, but as a, a serious reviewer, I don't watch other reviewers' reviews before I review the product that they've reviewed. Aye, right. Um, I always watch other people's reviews. Uh, I always watch them um, because, you know, I have my own opinion and stuff. It doesn't matter what somebody else says. Uh, but but sometimes, you know, it's sometimes watching somebody else's review that's done it before you, if they pick up a fault, it's better that they say it. I'm aware of it. And then I can mention it in my review that this is a manufacturing fault. This is why this doesn't work. Rather than me looking like a total ball bag going, this is great because I missed something. So, yeah, that information's out there. Um, but that's just my take on things. Um, right. Um, let's 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 scroll down. Um, going for oh, Jesus wept. I can't keep up with all these questions. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's 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 let's. Where am I? Fish, yes, I know it looks like the Fisher Price. Um, and I know I'm not going to be sponsored by Colgate, and I see uh, Dean said something offensive, so I'm just going to have... You're right, I do have some bourbon here. Uh, which is strange. This, this, uh, I was sitting in here one night, and I was given this when I finished in my last job. Uh, oh, speaking of my last job, um, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, um, 
the Vapor Lounge, the Vapor Lounge, the company that I used to work for. Um, this Saturday, I'm sure it's this Saturday, I could be wrong. Today is Thursday, the 15th, so 17th, in Dunfermline, Fife, Scotland, UK, uh, the shop where I used to work, uh, well, when I started working for the company, it's their third birthday. Um, it's their third birthday. So um, if you're in the area, go along, uh, say hi to Chaz, um, give him a cuddle. He likes cuddles. Um, and um, just say hi to the guys in there. It's their third birthday. Go and show them some love. Um, and Callum. Callum will be there. Do that with his hair. He loves it. And give him a cuddle as well. Um, I was going with something else, uh, but then I'm trying to pay attention to these comments and I just can't keep up with them. Ha, Alistair Patterson, have you heard or seen anything about the Yilong SQI Xbox Mod 01 3D printed squonk mechanical box? You made that up. That's not real. Is it? That can't be the full name for something. Jesus Christ. The Yilong SQ Xbox Mod-01 3D printed squawk mechanical box. <laughs> um, yeah, I have heard about it. Um, I've not actually seen it as such. Um, but, yeah. That, that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> Maybe I should have said something else, but that's all I know. Uh, can you 3D print a copy of a vaping biker beard? No, that's impossible. Uh, that's impossible. You could never get all the biscuits and coffee in it. Um, <laughs> apparently, the 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 Uber toot that uh, I borrowed from Mark White still stinks of goose juice. I apologise. Uh, George Santos says, "Do you like the Serpent BF?" I did a review about that. Anyway, uh, yes, did a review for that. Um, that's where I was going with the bourbon. Yeah, I, I'm a JD man, um, and the guys gave me this when I left the job. And uh, you can see I've only had a little bit out of it. Uh, I just, it's not just not Jack Daniels. I've been drinking Jack Daniels for years, and I love all the different Gentleman Jack and all that kind of stuff, but this just, it just wasn't that no nah, it just doesn't smell that nah, right okay right so that's remember if you want to ask me a question it's got to be at todd's reviews and then i can see it coming up uh right um no listen no i'm not biting i'm not biting um Oh, there's Callum. Oh, Callum. Um, <laughs> just, the, um, Guy Welch says, did I miss something? You quit the vape shop. I did, yes, uh, for over a month now. Um, they had enough of me. They booted me out. They said I was overweight and that uh, my work wasn't up to scratch and uh, my partner was shit. So I got shit canned. There you go. <laughs> That's yeah. Um what milligram do I vape? Um I can vape up to 12 milligram, depending on the tank. Um if if it's mouth to lung um on like an, an old Genesis or something like that, because I still do vape on my my little old Genesis tanks. Um I can vape 12 milligram in them comfortably. Uh, but normally it's um, three milligram, three milligram. Uh, that's just it. And um, right, this quick update on this. Now this is the the Joytech uh, Penguin. Uh, I never took it on holiday with me because I said the coils were shit. Well, I was only getting uh, a tank, a ta eight point eight mil. I would say I would get 10 mil out of a coil, uh, and that's 80% VG. Um, and, and that's just not good enough for me, I'm afraid. I expect more out of a coil. And I've got the 0 0.2 ohm coil in there just now. And what I did, who was it that I was talking Somebody told me this. 
Ah, uh, um, Cheeky Vapes. Alex, Alex from Cheeky Vapes. Um, he mentioned it about getting just a, a little thin bit of canful and uh, just, I don't know what that is, uh, just fluffing the cotton up a bit and poking through the wick hole, which I have done. And I can, uh, yeah, it didn't make any difference. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not that bad. That was just this afternoon I did that. And it is actually, flavours kind of better. That's not bad. Uh, but I, I, it seems to be a flip of a coin. There's some people that say they don't have any issues with the coils um, and they say that, you know, they get the lifespan they expect. And some people are saying that, no, they don't. Uh, so it's a kind of a flip up. Um, I don't know. It's I like the form factor. I, I do actually enjoy vaping with it. It's got a couple of niggles, but um, yeah. Uh, who sent the TECC, -T -E the electronic? <laughs> uh, I'll edit this bit out. I've completely forgotten. T E C C or T C uh, um, Bollocks. Uh, yeah, those guys. Um, right. Uh, let's let's have a couple of questions. Uh, go on, Jim, before the question comes. Uh, soft Tarno, Soft Tarno, Bob. In case I got that wrong. Um, can you describe the flavor profile of uh, the best e liquid? Of your best e liquid, the flavor profile. I know it's custard, but try to. What's the flavor profile? Listen, I worked in a vape shop for three years. I just don't do the whole juice thing. Just don't. Sorry. Um, it's custard and it's got a bit of butterscotch and stuff going on in it. And, and that's all I need to know. Um, that'll do me. I, sorry if that sounds a bit shitty, but yeah. I just don't do e liquid like, you know, what was the girl's name from food and drink? Uh, smells of wafts of hollyoaks and hollyock and yeah, all that crap. I, I'm not into that. Just not bothered. Um, right. Uh, let's. Uh, what's a good cheaper alternative to the Hadley or the Narda? So a small single coil flavor RDA. I haven't a clue. Um, I can all, I can only tell you what I've um single coil actually yeah oh there you go Christ and a question I can a, a recommendation I can answer uh, the the one VP the by Dovepo no it's not the one VP what was it called again somebody help me out uh, it was only about you could get it for about twenty or thirty quid from Gearbest did a review for it uh, you could do a single coil or a dual coil in it. But totally different deck for each one. Um, really, really like this. Uh, really like this a lot. But um, check the comments. There's lots of um, other folk that will keep you writing that one. Uh, your views, uh, this is from Kevin. Again, your views on home brew juice or shop. Thinking about cost as I vape 20 mil a day. If you vape 20 mil a day, I would home brew. I don't know how anybody can afford to vape. 20 ml of juice a day without doing homebrew and um, but there you go that's just me um uh, ferrari or lamborghini from sarah uh for me it would be lamborghini and when i did the track day not the track day well it was a kind of track day a few laps you know, um no interest in the ferrari at all had to be the lamborghini uh had to be the lamborghini um Kathy's saying, do you think you'll ever come to the States for a vape fest of any kind? One day. One day. Uh, one day I'm going to pack my case. I'm gonna stick Dean inside it, carry him on, uh, and, and come over. Yeah, I know I'd love to. Um, but we'll wait and see. Um Advic. Advic? Yeah. Right. I am now getting to the point where I'm going to have to stop because I'm aware that there's another show coming on at nine o'clock and 
and I, and I don't want to cross over but because well, actually I want to go and watch the ideal I'm sure uh, there we go um that's all I've got listen I've got other stuff coming in for review um what else have I got to show you I actually I will tell you what I've been here this the that's my my gloom um my gloom and that's the the cosmonaut on top uh, I said in my last vlog I, I used to sell the cosmonaut when I worked in the shop and I was never a fan of it never vaped on it I just the uh, didn't do it for me, didn't think it was my thing. But it's um squonky pin in it now. And you can laugh your arse off all you like. But but that's the look at that awesome build. Yep, rough as a badger's bum. But um I don't like that. Oh there we go. Oh that's out of focus, but what the hell? Um popping that back on. Boink. Is that on? It is on. I, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I was vaping it with a single coil, uh, just like a 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohm coil. Um, but I'm now down about, I think it's 0 0.4. And I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the flavor from it. And it just goes to show you that uh, sometimes you can be completely wrong on shit. A lot. I can be wrong a lot on shit. Um, <laughs> Chris, I'm not going to read out what you just typed there because if Damien ever heard me saying that live, I would kick me squarely in the nuts. Um, I think that's about that. I think that's about all I've got for you guys. To be honest, I said that about ten minutes ago, didn't I? I would. We'll give it five minutes if you. Any questions, give it five more minutes and then we'll, we'll wind it up for this vlog. Um, somebody's just, uh, 187 Replicant is saying, what should I do to overcome the fear of using mechs? There is nothing to be afraid of when it comes to using a mech. Um, I, I know that some people will strongly disagree with me on that one, but hey, for many, many years, we all got by using mechs, no problem at all. Battery safety, uh, go and look up Mooch. Uh, battery mooch uh, read his charts and get you're going to build to a certain resistance that's it's kind of arse from tip um with a regulated mod you know you can fire on anything you like and fire it if it's too hot too cold you just push a button and adjust but with a mech mod you're building to the resistance of the coil um get the right batteries watch reviews Go and speak to people in Facebook groups. Just an annoy people. But if you use common sense, then there's nothing to worry about using a mech. Just make sure the pin on, if you're using a hybrid top cap, make sure it's not a spring-loaded 510 pin on your Atty. Um, <sighs> Dean, what is this? The Vaping Biker Show. Feck. Um, Dean, go and check out Dean's page he's on the vaping biker page i'm sure he did a write-up on mechs and stuff like that it was very good uh, so go and watch that um that'll do that'll do donkey uh sorry edward best atty for the billet box um save yourself some money get the kanger rebuildable section it's just the same it is all right um, yeah i know a lot of people get excited about all the different plug-in things you can get for the billet box but uh, i got just as good a vape from my little kangaroo buildable head as i did from anything else so there you go um the typewriter is still going strong uh, no issues with that um uh, mr rock mods in the house i didn't know that he'd made mods that's quite surprising that um but apparently ryan makes mods there you go <laughs> and you're going to be at vape fest i think pretty sure don't know if you're going to have a stall or not but anyway guys thank you to the people that 
pushed whatever button you did to donate money. Uh, I will see how much, ever much that is. It's, I think it's about thirty pound or something like that, and I will give that to the Just Giving page. Um, go and check out Dean the Vaping Biker's uh, latest video about his charity raffle thing for Buster the Dog. That's where the money that you have donated tonight. That's where that will go to. Um, there shall be reviews coming next week. I'm not doing any over the weekend. I'm completely zonked. I'm knackered. Um, but thank you for, for going easy on me on this one. This is possibly the most stressful thing I think I've ever done it in my whole vaping career. And I will think long and hard before I ever do this again. <laughs> right. I'm away to put the cream in the basket. Guys, catch you later. Thank you for watching so, so much.